This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I replace the default material on ZBrush Launch? So this question came in with a caveat. The user wanted to know if there was a way that this could be done without opening a ZBrush project file or installing a macro, modifying the default startup script, or installing a plugin. So here's a process you can do that requires none of those things and just the vanilla version of ZBrush to change the default red wax matte cap into something else. So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up and I just have Lightbox open here. So I'm just gonna come up here and click this Lightbox button, which is going to close that. And you'll notice I have my document here, which is completely blank. I have my simple brush over here selected and I currently have the red wax material select. So I'm gonna open up the material browser here and first I'm gonna select the material that's already loaded that I want to use to replace the matte cap red wax material. So for this example, let's say I want ZBrush to always start up with this Ma Shiny material. So first I'm just gonna select this material and then I'm gonna navigate up here to the top to the material tab and open this up. And then down here I'm gonna use this copy material. And this is just going to take this material and store it into memory. Now after this material has been stored, I'm now gonna go back over here to my material picker, and I'm now going to select the red wax material, and now I'm gonna go back up to the material tab up here, and now I'm gonna click paste material. So it's gonna take that shiny material, and it's going to paste it into the slot that the matte cap red wax material is using. So just clicking paste material here, should now replace that red wax with this moss shiny material. So now if I go back to the material selector here, you can see that the red wax material is no longer the first one here. And now you need to do one more thing. So in order for this to material to always be in that first slot, we just need to make a little mark here on our canvas. So I'm gonna switch to a really small draw size here. So say something about four. Make sure I have the simple brush selected. Make sure I have MRGB turned on. And then I'm gonna come up here to the corner. I'm just going to click and drag. And this is just going to apply a simple brush stroke of that Ma shiny material into the corner there. And now after this has been applied somewhere on our canvas, we just need to go to the document panel up here, open this up, and then I need to click this save as startup document. And this is just going to save the document or the canvas that you currently see. And with this, it's going to save that Ma shiny material in slot one. So I'm just gonna come up here and click save as startup document. And now it's just gonna tell you that it's been stored and it will be loaded when you launch ZBrush. So now let's just restart ZBrush here. So I'm just gonna come up here and close this. And after ZBrush launches, you'll see I have Lightbox open here. So I can close that again. And now if I go to my material palette and open this up, you can see that that red wax material is no longer the first material. And now it's the Ma Shiny material. So that process again was first, select the material that you want to have as the replacement for the matte cap red wax. So let's say I select this green metallic material here. Go up to the material palette, open this up, use copy material, then navigate back over here and select the first material here, which should be that matte cap red wax. But in this case, I replaced it, so now it's Ma Shiny. Select the first material, then go back up to the material palette, use paste material, which will now reassign that slot to the matte cap you copied. Now on your canvas, you just wanna get a small draw size here. You wanna make sure you have the simple brush selected. You can hit Control N on your keyboard to clear the canvas from any additional marks that you may have made previously. And then just click and drag to add a simple brush stroke of that material. Now go to the document tab here and do save as startup document. And then you'll get this little dialogue. And now the next time you start ZBrush, this green metallic material will now be the default material instead of that matte cap red wax. So that is the process to go through and replace the red wax material with another material without needing to open a project file, install a macro, edit the custom default Z startup script, or use a plugin. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.